how do you shop your TV show except if, if you don't have an agent? Is there any other path to take? This is commonly a question I get at the Guild all the time, uh, you know, how much agents can help producers. Who wants to take on that answer? Because it's, uh, it's a big one. I, I'll, take, I'll take one shot at it. I think whether it's TV or, or a feature, I think you have to, again, uh, look at the management side of things because many people with companies are sort of legally uh, unwilling you know, to accept material unsolicited because of the fear of, you know, of um, legality. And, uh, and, and lawsuits because, you know, if somebody feels like you pinched an idea or a piece of an idea, you can get sued. So typically, certainly at my little company, we don't take anything unsolicited. It has to come through a management company or representative. So I think uh, I would encourage anybody with material to, you know, to either uh, find some way to uh, sort of legitimately knock on doors at studios and TV companies. Uh, otherwise, it might be difficult. I'll add my answer because I was in private practice for a while. Entertainment lawyers also, uh, if you can't get an agent, agents are hard to get. There are some entertainment lawyers who do represent and do submit material on the behalf of their clients that you can try to reach out to as well. Uh, it's a different model, but yeah. it does work sometimes as well. But most producers that I rep we represent do not have agents. That is the, definitely in the, in the minority who have agents representation. Okay, great. Any other answers and, and, than that? Well, yeah. I, I think definitely now, you know, more and more you're seeing a lot of these young people getting TV deals, and it's based off of blogs. It's based off of Vine accounts. It's based off of the talent piece. You know what I mean? That's, that's kind of what it is. It's what drives it. If you've got a reality show, the first question they ask is, who's the host? You know, because that's such a big variable. So if you can really build that, that brand online, uh, that's something that'll get the attention of the agents. Also, more and more on the um, independent film side, uh, I've seen, I've had a lot of people approach me about uh, genre films where the distributors want to see what that, what that audience piece is before they'll pick up the film. And it's not just about having a Facebook page, they really want to see that community piece. So again, that's about having relationships with the bloggers and things like that. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there to engage besides just the agents. Because they're, they're going to look at your clicks on your YouTube channel and things like that. I'll, I'll throw in on the scripted side, I, I don't do reality, but on the scripted side at least, I find that um, I'm not repped at an agency, and um, my specialty is intellectual property, and so I can't do, t I'm doing a lot in television right now, but I can't do it alone as a producer, so I find that instead of going and pitching it, what I do is I partner with other producers, and I try to create a package. I'm finding that on the television side, I don't know if you guys agree, but, it, you know, packaging like in feature film is becoming more and more necessary. So how am I gonna get a showrunner on board? Is there a management firm that's repping a showrunner that I want? Can I team up with them? I try to do a lot of the work before we bring it out to the networks. Presenting yourself as a, a, a package, in essence, you, you inherit an agent by way of the showrunner or the right. talent. Oh. Exactly. That's your answer. Yeah. One more I, thing, I I'm that's sorry, it. one more thing just to add. Um, and I know it's hard getting your foot in the door and getting started when you're brand new and you're trying to sell content. I can tell you, um, being in the business now for X number of years, I don't think I've ever sold one project through an agent. Like every really? Single, yeah, every single thing I've ever sold has been me networking with someone at the studio or at a network and me contacting them and pitching them directly. I've never had an agent sell anything. So there are other ways, you know, and it's relationships. And, you know, once you get your foot in the door, it's really working and nurturing those relationships. At the same time, network and cable television is so agent dominated yes, because, it is. because they have, you know, the agents take a, a, a package fee. And so uh, you have no idea the close relationships that some of the major agencies have with the networks and cable executives. Really close.